Hi, uh, my name's uh, Professor John Seymour. I'm the Director of the Department of Haematology at the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre in the Royal Melbourne Hospital here in Melbourne. So we talked about venetoclax and some of the things that are necessary for it to be given safely. And one is a reasonable, reasonable amount of fluid. And the second is the confidence that any breakdown products or chemicals can be cleared away from the body safely. Both of those things require the kidneys to be working reasonably well. So it's, we don't have information if venetoclax can safely be given to people where the kidneys are really quite weakened. Um, so good kidney function is necessary. The second thing, and this is a more personal issue, um, the what we call the dose ramp up. So that five week period where the dose is gradually increasing is quite demanding on patients or their families or carers or loved ones coming in and out with those visits and the blood tests and monitoring. So if patients have difficulty with transport for whatever reason, or if where they live makes that very demanding uh, in terms of time or discomfort with travel, it might be that venetoclax isn't the best fit uh, for those particular patients. Um, venetoclax, like all of these other drugs, also um, has some uh, potential interactions with some other medicines. So with any of these um, treatments, it's very important um, that the patients um, make sure their doctor, their haematologist, looks over the other medications that they're taking to make sure that there are no incompatibilities or no clashes. And if you're on venetoclax and you're seeing your GP or another doctor for any reason and they're prescribing, for example, antibiotics or blood pressure medicines or uh, medicines to um, treat another infection, it's important that you say to them, I'm on this drug venetoclax, please check and make sure that uh, it's compatible with the medication that you're suggesting for me. That's really a principle that all of us uh, should adhere to with any of our medicines, but it's particularly important with uh, venetoclax and other drugs like that to treat CLL.